everybody and welcome back to some more adventures in Cube World. And today we are in a desert biome. I punched in a seed that somebody told me, apparently I guess, to the far west, distant lands of spawn, is um, a plus four pyramid section. Uh, the past couple of days, um, I've been playing a lot of Cube World off of recording and we actually got a big group together on this 50 slot server. And we ended up just going around and spending hours and hours killing plus four uh, world bosses and all this other stuff. So I managed to get a lot of different pets. I managed to get pretty much the highest gear in the game right now other than my left ring and my necklace. Everything else I've got right now is uh, very, very, very high-end gear. So I'm going to take you guys through a plus four. Um, let's see. Gosh, I guess it's like a pyramid, but I haven't found it yet. So we're going to hang glide a little bit here. And I'll kind of show you as I'm hang gliding. Actually, I probably can't. I'll show you when I land. I've got uh, all my skills. I still have some skill points I haven't put in yet. Just because I've got so dang many of them. Because I'm a 2595 water mage right now. All sorts of neat stuff down there on the ground. All right, we'll take a little breather here. Anyway, yeah, so I've got 1,200 points in my healing stream, which is my main number one ability. For my uh, direct healing, I've got uh, only 100 in my mana shield. Um, I've got 100 in pet master, 100 in climbing, 100 in swimming, 100 in sailing, and then 1,200 hang gliding, 1,200 in riding. That way I can uh, ride like the wind, bullseye. I still am not seeing this pyramid that's out to the west here. What is that thing? It's a spike creature. Interesting. And this is also what my armor looks like. It's like all red gold with the amulet, the cool little bracelet I've got on, and my little wooden stick. <laughs> For a, uh, for a wand. I'm using a wand and a bracelet right now. And I'm not seeing these pyramids that are supposedly out west. Just missed whatever that thing is. But yeah, so there's supposedly some pyramids that are far out west here in the desert area that are going to provide us with some plus four entertainment on this fine Sunday afternoon. We'll see if uh, if we can find them. Because as of now, I'm not seeing them. Not unless it's those swords that I'm seeing right up here. Maybe that's the pyramid. Okay, we're just going to keep heading west here and see if this is it. There's a desert runner. He's just like mine, but he's a desert one. I like my I like my green one better. And we've got to be coming up on these swords here before long. Yeah, it's just over this hill here. Hopefully they're uh plus four and not too far out that way we can get into this pyramid I've never done a pyramid before I've done some catacombs I've done a bunch of castles um, I have not done anything under the ocean yet I know there's like an underwater or an under ocean biome there's a desert biome this is my first time here um, I have been to the lava lands once but I haven't killed anything there because at the time they were way way too strong for me So now we're going to ride our little leaf. We also got to make sure you keep water on your pets too. For those of you who haven't gotten the game yet, if you look just underneath my pet's um, mana bar there, or his experience bar, you'll see this, those five water drops. That's the pet's water. If that runs out, he'll kick you off and will not let you ride him anymore. So make sure that you jump in some water streams to give him some water. Uh, little desert onionling guys. Are we getting close to this yet? Yeah, we're right there. There it is. There's the pyramid. Oh, there. Oh, wow. 
I think it's huge. All right, here we go. First time in a pyramid. Up we go. Defeat the ruler of the pyramid. Okay, I'll turn on my uh, my lamp here. And I'm actually going to change pets. I'm going to use my, my spitter. Because he heals too. He does damage and he heals. Alright, we looks like we got a couple of different oh, I was gonna say maybe we got a couple of different levels here. Oh. Oh, and I just fell in. These are not plus four so far. Whoa. Ouch! Holy mother! Ow! <laughs> Holy crap! That's a lot of money and stuff in here, but they're not saying plus four. They're hitting like trucks, though. But they're not saying plus four. All right, let's go. Let's continue. I'm gonna put my mana shield on like right when I walk into this room, just in case. Yeah, I don't think these guys are plus fours. They're dying a little too fast for plus four. Plus, they should have that number on their head. I think these guys are just regular. These guys are, uh... Get off of me. These guys are a little easy. We'll keep clearing it just to be safe. If we could figure out how to get out of here once we're done. Oh wow, that's a ton of people. Yeah, we're just mopping these guys up. This was why I was looking for a plus four uh, place because uh, we're just mopping these guys up here. up though. I'll take it. Experience is still pretty good. A level power level 100 ranger boomerang. Pretty nice gear in here. Oh here's the boss already. Yeah this guy's gonna die really quick. What did he drop? Power 100 Rogue. A rogue. Recipe, 10 silver, some copper. Power level 100. Splendid gold bracelet. A wand, a oh, wind spirit. And some staffs and stuff. Wow, that was it. Yeah, this was not a plus four. <laughs> this was not a plus four pyramid. I think I was lied to. Cause that was way too easy for a plus four and normally if you guys haven't gotten the game yet you guys will know right off the bat when you encounter a plus four it'll have plus four next to like let's just say they're a a, a wind rider it'll say wind rider plus four next to it that way you know that those guys mean business all right let me swap back to my my mountable pet here and then we're gonna run through this place because obviously this was not a plus four by any means. Now we just gotta climb our way out of here. Yep, there we go. Here's the entrance to it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I was really looking forward to showing you guys a plus four and how hard these guys hit. I 
That kind of sucks. Man. We have nothing else over here either. That's a real royal bummer. I mean, it's a pyramid nonetheless. At least you guys were able to get to see a pyramid in the adventure, but not a very difficult one by any means. Aw. And it doesn't look like there's much of anything else out here. There's a town way off to the north over there. Hmm. I guess we could travel to the town way over there and see if it kind of gives us anything else that's new. Let's see. Let me, can, I can't open my inventory either while we're flying. Oh, let's see. Um Yeah, he was they were giving us high level stuff. Just nothing like really spectacular as far as high level stuff goes. I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to try and find a Firelands place. I'm thinking that's probably gonna be the best one we're gonna find here. Because none of this stuff out here is plus four. Like I said in the uh, seed, or the seed that was given to me, it said it was a plus four pyramid, but it just wasn't. I'll kind of wander around for a little bit just to be safe. Maybe there's something else out here we can stumble across, but by the looks of things, I think it's pretty much a, a dud on that one. Yeah, these guys are like like light blue. They're not even pluses. And they're not even plus anything to me. Yeah, these are like starter level guys here. Alright, so maybe what I'll do is let me cut it here really quick, and then when I come back, I'll try and find another plus four seed for us. But at least you guys got to see a pyramid, so we'll be Alright, right everybody, welcome back. I ended up finding a multiplayer map that I was telling you guys about that we actually had a 50-slot server on. And it's this map right here, and it's called the Ruins. You can, I guess, you can call it either Damasil or Damasil, however you want to say it. But these are the runes that I gained a lot, if not all of my levels. I got to about, oh, probably level 60 or so ish, just kind of playing on my own and playing with some friends, and then uh, I was invited to the server. And then from here is when I was grouping up with some higher level people and then what we were doing is, is we were going to all the local missions, get me to about a level 200 to 300 by killing stuff, and then I started running over here to these ruins of uh, uh, Damasel or Damasel. And then from there, there was a level 4, plus 4 Crete, like skeletons, um, stuff like that. And then from there, I started just, I swapped over to being a healing mage instead of a fire mage. And I was healing all the guys fighting the bosses. Some of the bo some of the bosses here, when we first started, they were taking like 15 minutes to kill. It was pretty crazy. Once we all started getting higher in levels, like around 5, 6, 7, 800, it was taking us obviously a lot less time to kill this, you know, the boss that's over here and the mobs and whatnot. Um, and now me being, you know, level 25, 96, it's uh it's pretty it's pretty a quick it's a pretty quick process to get all this stuff now but what's really nice about it is is um now i can get some really really good gear over here for people like all the gear that you see in my bag i have a lot of high level uh yellows and greens and blues and and whatnot now it's been pretty much like a pet hunt because the more mobs you kill, the better opportunity and chances you have at finding uh, pet food. Because pet food is the rare stuff, and I still have yet to get the materials needed to tame a turtle. You need a cinnamon roll to tame a turtle, and I just have not found one yet. I've got all sorts of other stuff. I've got all sorts of other pets and all sorts of other pet foods, but I just don't have what I need to tame a turtle yet. Alright, so here's those runes, I, or the little areas I was telling you about. And it's actually, the boss that's over here is a daily mission, so we're gonna 
We'll see how much experience we get from this here. Let's turn on our lamp. Yeah, see, look, here's a skeleton plus four right here. And I want you just to see, look at how much damage he's doing to me and how fast he's hitting right now. So look at the damage you gotta do to this guy. Wherever the heck he just went. Where'd he go? I didn't kill him yet. Oh, there he is. But that just shows you guys that how hard these guys hit over here. And that was one guy. Now imagine if you get into a dungeon where you've got, you know, a couple of plus fours and stuff on you. Alright, so I just leveled. Okay, so I am now 2597. We're going to head over to this boss over here. And I'm going to show you... Um, how many levels I were I was getting by doing this. I'm gonna try and not touch or kill anything else here. This is gonna be strictly this is a brand new level. By just fighting the boss over here. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. In essence, I can actually round up a lot of these little catacombs and ruins and stuff and farm on these guys. This is a really, really good seed and a really good map to farm on if you guys are higher levels and you guys are able to kill plus fours. It's a really good place to come over here. Plus, you can go to the town. Oh, did I pass up where I needed to go? Yeah, it's over here. Plus, you can uh, go to town and reset the missions and change the boss back to over here again. If you can kill the boss, anyway. What in the heck am I doing wrong here? There we go. I'm heading, like, all out in the wrong directions, and... Everything else. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying not to kill anything here. Okay, the boss should be just right over here. There he is right there. Okay, so we're going to fight just the boss here, guys. So we are now level 2597. We'll see how many levels we get. Still hits hard. I'm just trying to keep my heels on the ground, spam my number one ability. Why is there a sheep? There's a sheep plus four that's tanking him for me. <laughs> now imagine, look at my health and my the amount of gear that I've got, and look at the damage he's doing to me right now. That's without. Look at my shield. Oh, my shield broke already. I have to stay in this, or else this guy will kill me. I have to stay in my healing area. So if you're not geared or don't have the right materials, this guy will be extremely hard for you to kill. So remember, guys, 2597 is our level. There we go. So we got a quest completed, and we didn't level. So if that tells you. If you guys were lower level, and you guys were here for that, you guys would have gotten, you know, maybe between 5 to 10, even 15 levels off of that. It got me 3 quarters of a bar, or 3 quarters, yeah, almost almost a full level. So I didn't quite level off of that, but you figure that was a lot of experience um, that you would have gotten if you were a lower level. And what happens is, is you get a lot of people that kind of sit around right here and they wait. Then they have somebody back at 10 that'll reset this boss, and then you get a couple of high level guys like me. We'll just kill this boss and they'll just kind of keep resetting it. Why is this sheep following me? Do I have something he can eat? Do you want that? No. How about that? How about that? He doesn't want anything I have. How about a vanilla cupcake? How about a carrot? How about a lollipop? Green jelly? Yellow jelly? Pancakes? How about a strawberry cocktail? How about an apple ring? How about a lollipop? Pink jelly? <laughs> yeah, that sheep doesn't want anything I have. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so these ruins are a really, really good place to, uh, to farm plus four mobs if you guys are into doing that. All you gotta do is just round up all these plus four mobs that are everywhere over here. Got these groups, these groups, all of these different sections of them here. 
And then put your shield on and then drop it down your massive AoE. Just like this. There you go. And look at that gear. Power level 100 mage shoulders right there for somebody. That was a nice yellow rogue chest piece. That's some really, really, really good gear that drops in here. It's a little slower pace when you're by yourself, though. Because you got to keep running to town, resetting it, resetting it, and hopefully the boss shows up. And then when he does show up, then you got to run all the way back here. But with how fast I can fly and how fast I can run, it's not hard by myself. Um, but it's definitely a pretty cool way for you guys to, uh, you know, get some power leveling, that's for sure. And all you guys got to do as well, you guys can simply just go to, like, Google and type in plus four mob seeds and follow the directions on how to get to some of these little catacombs and dungeons and castles and pyramids and you can really just farm a lot of mobs here. Oh, they killed my pet again. We're gonna put my shield on. We're gonna gather up all these guys here. There we go. And you drop the AoE on them. go see look at that you got some rogue shoulders some level 100 leftovers for those of you who don't know what leftovers are you take them to the identifier in town and it gives you a random rare item which is pretty cool too very very cool stuff here so at any rate guys i'm going to wrap up this video here of some more adventures in cube world hope you guys enjoyed it like i said plus fours very good experience very good money um, I spent a lot of my money, but I've got 6,127 platinum coins with 4 gold, 92 silver, and I've got a lot of, a lot of materials from farming this map, whether the leftovers, the armor, all sorts of stuff, so, but at any rate, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll definitely be seeing you guys next time. Have a great day.